Alrighty, hi guys, this is Chelsea from Chelsea Rose Health, and this is Chris. Show up in, it's your favorite trainer, the belt buckle. And we're teaming up, we're really excited because um, we're going to start going over some programming. So the next 10 videos that we release are going to be all about us kind of analyzing and breaking down different programs for you guys. Um, we know it can be really complicated, so we kind of wanted to show you what those videos are going to entail, starting with all of this. We got a little checklist that we've, we've created and really excited of helping you guys because there's so many individuals that buy programs and they don't know if they're good or bad. And so I've been a teacher for over 10 years now. We have Show Fitness Personal Training Internship in Los Angeles and San Diego. Chelsea was one of our star students and not only did she complete the program and go through it in a timely fashion and set the expectations for being a star student, but even better, she's practiced what she's preached. She's grown her business and now she has people working with her. And we constantly go over a SWOT analysis, that's your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And one of the things I challenge her on is how to make these programs better that she's doing. And so what we want to do, we've been brainstorming about our clients that we have, how can we educate them on the quality of the programs that they may be buying? So obviously price is important. What's a good program? Free is the best, right? Well, what about that $100 program? What about the credentials of the individual? We see all these acronyms today, NASM, NSCA, ACE. What do those even mean? You go to a physician, they got their white coat on, you don't grill them on what, what would you go to school, doc? Ooh, you went to Maryland, you must not be that smart. No, we never do that. We Trainers and the acronyms they have behind their name, we think that they're qualified. The average trainer takes an at-home or they go to a testing center, a test that's 120 questions or less, and they get a piece of paper and they call themselves certified. And when we talk about the internship, just because you're certified doesn't mean you're qualified. So we're gonna go over the credentials of the individual. What are some red flags? I'll give you a red flag right off the bat. Lose 30 pounds in the seven days. It's too quick. Could you imagine going to a financial advisor and they tell you, just give me $10,000, I'm gonna triple it in a week. That's not too, too good to be true, right? So we're gonna go over red flags that trainers say. We're gonna talk about nutrition aspects. Is there quality information? Are they making dogmatic statements that are outdated? Is the science backed currently? We're very lucky at Shell Fitness, we have a registered dietitian who we work with. We also have professors, emergency room physicians, and we have physical therapists. So we wanna make sure that the nutrition that they're offering is within their scope, but also is it current evidence today? And last but not least, is it personalized? I was in class the other day and one of our students bought a program and we were reviewing it in class. And the person who he bought it from didn't reach out within 10 days. The next week I asked him again, 17 days, 24 days. So you need to be going back to red flags. When someone just sends you a program, you gotta think about how many other individuals have they just sent it to? Where's the personalization? Are they tailoring it for your goals? Are they personalizing by sending you text messages and checking in? Because that's what great trainers do. And that's what Chelsea's gonna tell you a little bit more about what she does for her Roseland and awesome stuff that, with her programming because she makes it that way and then she's gonna analyze the rest of the stuff. Yes, so basically we wanna go over the entire program for you guys. Um, so like Chris said, you just have a really great idea of what you're kind of getting into and also what to look out for. Just because I've been in the position of you know, the client and the customer and buying programs and just doing them because I feel like I'm supposed to. I think that that person that's selling that program clearly knows what they're doing. So sometimes that's just not always the case and it took me going to the internship to kind of realize that. So we're really excited to overview the whole program. And then what we're going to do is take snippets of each program, like a day, like Wednesday, booty day, whatever, chest day. And we're going to lay it out for you guys, kind of analyze what they put and then we're going to let you guys know if it makes sense or not, if it's a great programming or if it's terrible programming. And you guys can kind of start to learn over the next course of these videos why certain things make sense and what doesn't make sense. So that way the next time you buy a program, you can look at it and know that it's something you should be doing or maybe it's something that you should be avoiding. So we're excited to get into it. For example, here's a little snippet. If someone has you jump like this, they don't know what they're doing. They don't understand the mechanics of jumping. They don't understand the human body. So we're going to put that on here and teach you how to do it properly or if something's a little too advanced, how can we regress it? Mm -hmm. 
how you can optimize it. So maybe you do buy a program, which is fine. You spend $1,500, but what are some tweaks you can make it appropriate? Last thing we want you to do is to work out too hard and get a medical condition like rhabdo where you almost die, which is, has happened before. And then we're gonna give it a final score. So again, we're really stoked to get this out there, to start educating the general population on what to look for for a program. We're going to do an Instagram Live as well. We're gonna give some links in here where you can swipe up and we're gonna just teach people about what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna have minimum of 10. If it, if it takes off, we're willing to do more. And we want you guys to fill us in on things that you're looking for. So leave comments, make sure to check us out on Instagram and YouTube, Show Up Fitness. Chelsea Rose Health slash Roseland. Online and, clients. and we're excited. Just keep on showing up.